I'm back everyone, how are you all? Thank you for joining me in studio today. My name is Tony Darek and this is the How To Craft Network studio, the best studio in the world. You can get lots of inspiration from myself, lots of other demonstrators. So if you do like the channel, which a lot of you do, please click that subscribe button. This gives us a fabulous wider reach with our channel, which is ever, ever growing, which is fabulous. If you want the half an hour notice every time I am live, if you click that little bell, that will give you the nudge and you will be notified when we are live. There's lots of you on today. Have you missed me? <laughs> You're probably thinking, what's going on, Tony? We can't get back into a routine. I'm feeling a little bit like that as well, actually. There's just so much going on, so much exciting stuff to um, tell you about. I've got a few things to tell you about today, which is really, really lovely for you all to put notes in your diary and things like that. But as it sort of comes towards the end of the year, this is a time when Stamps by Me begin to get really, really busy. As you all know, we're six to eight months out with our designs. So we're already focused on early spring, summer next year, and it starts to get a little bit chaotic. But all the same, you're always guaranteed a smile and some inspiration. I do have a couple of lovely things to tell you about. So today over on Create and Craft, Emma is live at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. with her brand new um, launch, Blooming Flowers. And they are so cool, so different. So if you are wanting something different in your craft, then you need to go and check out the shows today. Maybe email in um, with some words of encouragement for Emma, as this is the first time she's done these two hours in the same day. So if you are a supporter of Thirsty Brush and love everything that Emma does, maybe you want to go and support the lovely lady and maybe drop an email about something you've made or what you like about her designs. That would be absolutely wonderful. So. That's the rest of today with Create and Craft. Um, also, I've got some other lovely things to tell you about. I've got my post-it note. So we have our brand event on the 4th. Now, you all have absolutely loved the brand events when we brought, the, brought you them here in the channel. And they've gone down a super, super storm. Well, we've got one on the 4th. OK, it's going to be a busy old day. It's craft all day. We have like 10, 15 minute um, breaks in between and that's to give the guests opportunity to go out and get the next guest in so it's a really really packed day from 9 a.m in the morning right up until 4 p.m we have some fabulous guests some new ones too and some new launches some new items for you all some happy hour deals and some great savings as well so if you are brand new to the channel you're in for an absolute storm because if you buy with us, you accrue those loyalty points, which give you those extra discounts, which in return give you free postage and discounts on stock and things like that. But equally, if you are already a lover of the channel, I have some new guests for you and some brand new launches from some of our favourite brands here on the How to Craft Network. It's going to be a storm. So make sure you put the 4th of November into your diary. Um, from 9am in the morning. It's going to be a busy old day for me and Tim. Tim on cameras and me presenting. Um, so come and show your support. Come and watch, get a cup of tea and just enjoy the shows. We do it for you. And hopefully there is something in the show that you'll like from one of our fabulous guests or brands. So let's do a quick shout out. Hi, Jan. Hi, Julie. Nola, Michaela, Marilyn, uh, Joe. It's going too fast. My goodness me. I have just had my lunch as well, so I'm all ready to go. Um, and some other things to tell you about. <laughs> Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Just. Also, you've all been waiting patiently for our box kit. Well, I can tell you now. Oh, my goodness, it's November, Joe. I know. Where's the time going? Just like, I feel like I'm chasing myself backwards. Honestly, I'm meeting myself coming back. Um, so my box kit, which is super exciting, my first ever box kit. Oh, why have I not done it sooner? They've been asking me for three years. And now that I've done it, I'm super pleased with it. It's been, it's been sort of approved, uh, proofread by our lovely Tim, who is the best at all that stuff. And it's ready to go. So it's going to be live on Create and Craft on the 16th of November. And that will be a new and exclusive. And it's a magazine for those of you that may not know. And it, it's a kit. So it comes with like stamps, um, embossing folders well it can come with anything really it's down to us as designers what we are, what we would like to put in it and i hope you like what i've chosen um but also you know the um hd 3d embossing folders that you all loved which i just recently took to hsn 
they're part of a kit as well. So if you're waiting for those with the dies, they're going to be part of the magazine kit. And again, it's a super affordable bundle as well. So right before Christmas, it's not going to break the bank. I think the magazine's about £14 or something. And you get all of that content. And my design team have worked so hard. You know, £14 for all of that content is incredible. So if you just want the magazine, the magazine's about £40. And then with the embossing folders, I think it's about £30, £35. So maybe a treat for a friend for Christmas. Super timing for it. So... Um, lots of inspiration in it as well and it's got some sneaky peeks of some new launches inside the magazine as well so if you're going to be collecting the box kits i have just designed box kit number two uh, the design team didn't even know that so they've got their work cut out again hopefully while they're eating the mince pies over christmas they'll be able to type some step by steps <laughs> like oh gosh i hope my design team's not on actually oh i nearly picked up my painting water there did you see that i need another mat and I've got Kath's cup, coffee, milk. Oh, I know. So it's also exciting. So that's that. And two days later, two days later, on the 18th, I have a weekender, the biggest one, a weekender with Theresa Collins on Creating Craft with a brand new launch. All happening in November, isn't it? So Kath. Brand event, 4th, box kit, 16th, brand new weekender with Teresa Collins. Yes, she's flying from the USA. Yes, she's going to be spending some time with us. Any questions, email in. It's going to be a fabulous show. We've created something together, so you're going to get an eclectic mix in a bundle of me and Teresa. See how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. If you like it as much as my design team, you're going to absolutely love it. So let's have a look. <laughs> let's not talk about boxes, Joe. Let's move on. <laughs> Oh, Paul, I'll do anything for you. Well, Paul, would you mind just zooming in right now wherever you are in the world or whatever you're doing? Because I'm about to do a Paul technique and probably do it really badly. But I have so many people asking about embossing folders that Paul does. So I'm going to try and attempt one live on air, which is a bad sketch, I know. But I feel like it's worth, you know, you watching me do it and overcoming any obstacles I can come across to make you better. Paul is going to do a live um, studio on the embossing folders pretty soon. So that's all the information for now. I don't want to overwhelm you. It is winding down a little bit for most companies, November, December. Um, we have to vamp it up, unfortunately, because we're so far out. So we are super busy. The next thing I want to tell you about, lastly, Create Together Club starts on Monday, okay? I appreciate, and I've held off. It should have really started last week, but I held off with all these Royal Mail issues, people still not got it and things like that. But I am conscious if I leave it any longer, we won't even get to it this year because of the schedule and my schedule with TV and things like that. So I'm going to start it Monday and I hope everybody's got it by Monday. I know a lot of you are waiting patiently for Royal Mail products and things like that. If you haven't, be reassured it is on YouTube. You can play catch up, but I don't feel like we can leave it any longer. Um, so basically Create Together Club is three stamps, you get two in an envelope, which you're not supposed to look at, which I know a lot of you have cheated. But you know, I'm trying to reduce the carbon footprint by sending them all together and putting them in an envelope say, with a number on saying do not open, but some of you were a little bit of giddy keepers, so, but if you have been good, please stay good because honestly it is worth the wait. But if you have cheated, please do not post any of the pictures of the stamps and spoil it for anyone else. We know where you all live. Oh, Joe's so excited for Monday. Me too, actually, Joe. Me too. I love doing the Create Together because it's like that continued inspiration of so many different techniques showing you how to use that one stamp, which you would never get normally, would you? So it's a great, it's a great thing. I love our Create Together Club. And if you're not a member, you need to join. You can join it at any point, stamp one, stamp two, stamp three, and just get involved. So let's have a look at some of the products in the show very quickly. Now, you will see the products underneath this live video on the website, okay? We will have a quick look at that in a second. But below the video, I have popped on lots of products that are back in stock. Now, if you click that notify me, they are back. You all have had the email, okay? But I do just like to give you that nudge to say, you know that? Whatever you've been waiting for, it's back in stock. Grab it while you can because when we always do a replenish, we don't order the thousands that we do when we take it initially to TV. So it's sort of like first come, first serve. 
Okay, so let me just show you some of the items. So you can see um, on our website, we have one new product, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but our back in stock items. Now we do have the Dosh da Dash Dot Frames, which you've all gone crazy for. And I know a lot of you have already bought these in the last two days that I did put them live. So Dash Dot Frames with the rectangles, which are these beautiful ones here, which you've all been waiting for. Dash and Dot. Get them while you can, ladies and gents. Then we have the B and F, which you've all been waiting for. Those big letters with the coordinating dies on the back in three sizes. So you've got one for an envelope, one for a mini card, and one as a focal on a big card. And then you have all your add-on words. So these are back as well. So if you click that notify me, these are back as well. Then we have these two. Sorry, it took so long, but I know you've been waiting for this. Adventure Begins and Beautiful Soul. Now you can see on the pictures here, this flower is huge and you get the sentiments. And then on this side, you get that tulip, which is this. And then you get this, which looks amazing in gold embossing. It's like a cascading curtain, sparkly, it's shimmery, it's blooming gorgeous. Um, so those are the six items that are back in stock you've all been waiting for. Now, as you can see, I have popped on there by three save 10. So if you have been waiting for dot and dash and a letter, you're gonna get some great savings today. If you are accruing those points, remember the, the points are to be set by the end of the year. Okay, so you're going to have to start all over again in January, which means I can get off bread and jam and on two jackets. I'm joking. But yeah, so enjoy them while you can. So that's those. And then I have one new item, which I've also included in the buy three save 10 by the way that b and that f if you've noticed they are 30 pound because of the stamps and dies i've already reduced them to 22.99 i am conscious we are in november and you know our sort of thought process shifts the gear from craft to family it's christmas so if you are wanting those cheeky presents for crafty friends then they are reduced and then you'll get your further 20 percent off that as well but the new item in the show which is also buy three save ten so if you had your eye on some of the others you're going to get a brucey bonus today is this little baby hd 3d look at this absolutely gorgeous butterfly guess what it comes with a coordinating die uh marilyn question question do you have a time it's one o'clock sorry that should have stated that marilyn great question one o'clock on monday so it'll be one o'clock every day if it has to change because sometimes it does we have to be quite flexible but take it as a given, it's one o'clock. And then on Monday, straight after me, Simon's on with Avago Inc. at two o'clock. So I'll get in and then I'll get out and give him the chance to get in and do his little piece. Right. I'm going to demo this one. I'm going to try and do a poll card. So this is it's six by six. It's a big butterfly. It's awesome. So I've just loaded this one hour ago and it's already flying. I know a lot of you collect these, but let's show you how it works. So let's just run it through some paper first, shall we? Is everybody happy? Any questions? Have I missed anything? You know, have I missed anything? It's easy to forget when you stood here with a list of things to remember. Right, so let's just pop this in here. So just pop, let's just show you it on white first. It's so blooming gorgeous. Now this will go to TV, but I'm giving you, my lovely friends and followers, the opportunity to get it now, which we do do because you're part of the family. You do get exclusive launches here in the House of Craft Network. We don't do everything for um, TV, and that's the great thing about our Create Together Club. It's totally unique to us here, isn't it? So I'm just going to run this embossing folder through. So just pop some white card in there. It didn't like that, did it? It's been a while. Let me grab my other plate. That's because I've got two A plates there, Tony. Is that right? Two A plates. Let's have a look. Just one second. Well, they're my Creftwell plates. It should like it, shouldn't it? Um, come on. Hi again. Try again. Sorry. 
So any questions, just give me a shout. See if it works this time. If not, we'll have to change tack. Thought so. Um, let's have a look. If you are working, don't worry, because it's always on YouTube. It's, you know, that's the great thing about YouTube, is it never goes away. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, then you're always going to see as well. My gosh, the pressure on that is just incredible. It's creased all of my card. Have a look. Let me just show you how much it's creased my card. Look at that. But anyway, I think you get the idea. Oh, look at that. Is that not just so gorgeous? Now, if you do get this creasing, can you see this sort of line element on here? It can be the card you're using, but it can also be down to the pressure of your machine. You can spray the card if you want to. I would rather have one that gives me a beautiful embossed image than hardly nothing at all. So just bear that in mind. So let's have some fun. Oh, the die. I've already gone ahead, look, and cut the butterfly, as messy as it is. And I'm just going to show you how the die works incredibly well as well. Let's have a look. Question, will you be doing a Studio 3 making, making books for Christmas? Mary, I absolutely will. I'm on it, sweetheart. I am absolutely on it. Promise. One of my all-time favourite things to do. So I'm just going to pop this die cut. I've already die cut it before coming to wear here. I'm just going to pop it in. So you can see how awesome this is going to look. Level it up. Yes, you can. Give it a pinch, like so, and then we'll run it through. I know, Enid, trying to break your die cutting machine. Hey, this, this is the first time for everything, Enid. Like you, O'Reilly. Let's show you this then. Can you see that on there? That's it's so gorgeous. This is a little bit different, you know, to our regular because florals have lots of rise and fall. This has got a lot of dot detail. Let me show you this. Oh, Amanda didn't know there was show. Don't worry. Don't worry, sweetheart. So pretty. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? And then shall I show you the deboss side as well? Because that's equally as pretty. That's important as well. Really, really lovely. Do you want to know what size this is, eh, guys? Let's have a look. So the embellishment, if you can just see from my mat here, it's just over four at the top and it's near on five at this side absolutely beautiful imagine this in a shadow box frame couldn't you what i did want to tell you as well is these ones this one let's just go back to you see this little letter here this f or the b it makes a great body in the center so like you can pop because you've got the die cut the little f here you can put the F in the centre of the butterfly and have the wings raised if you want to. Or, equally, I did save my um, die cut here. Look at this. This is now a stencil. So you could stencil through here and glue this back in and have, like, raised wings with the F so you've got detail in the background if you wanted. Or, you know, you could absolutely have it so it's a cascading butterfly. You could have half on a page and cut away half of the wing. So you've got half on a page. It's big enough to carry itself just with half a wing. But let's go ahead and play. So let me just die cut. No, let's use this one, actually. So what I'm going to do, because I have this one here, let's just move this to one side here. So when you see Paul's embossing folders, is he still on his Paul? Not sure. Let me just show you. That much chaos now. Move it all to one side. I've just got a piece of watercolor card here. Now again, it all boils down to what you use as well. So you can use white cardstock. You can use um, Bristol Smooth. You can use Archers, Cold Press, Warm Press. There's so many things that you could use. I would just say play. There's Carter. This is what I'm using, Carter, which is watercolour. Um, but there's just so many different things that you can achieve and do. So try what you have in your stash. 
And if you're happy with the results, you can stick with it. If you're still finding your, finding your feet in your place, ask the questions in the Eureka fan page and the team will help you. But what I'm going to do is I've got this one already die cut here, so I'm just going to place it on. Now, I know that Paul spends a lot of time on his embossing folders, spends a lot of time getting that colour around, adding detail to here. Now, I know the pressure of me being on air trying to get watercolour around the um, embossing folder without getting it all over my butterfly is going to be difficult. So I'm just going to do a watercolour wash on the back. I'm going to stick this on the top and then I'm going to paint this. I actually might even do it on an angle. Um, and that's the beauty of having that die cut. We can swap it around and change the position. So first of all, let's get some water on this cardstock. Now I have my Stamps By Me brushes here. As you can see, amazing brushes. So if you haven't got any, we have a lovely set on our on our um, page, website page. Let's just bring this into play here. I'm just going to get my tools ready, good old tools, which most of you have. Stop, my, stop them all from rolling all over. In fact, let's move this over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wash on here. I only have with me my inks, everyday inks. I have my big coloured ink pads, but I want to do, you know, those like butterflies that have got orange and browns in them quite iconic butterflies that's what I'm going for today whether it works or not it's another matter so black ink if you try this technique after me today make sure you post your make over on um, our Eureka fan page let me know how you get on did you find it easy did you not I'm just looking for I have my whole bunch of ink pads here, as you can see. Oh, right, yeah, how do you decide? Let's pull them in here. This is the hard part, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to stick with the orange. Let's stick with the orange. So, black ink pad, and I'm just going to pop some on my Eureka Companion. I'm going to mix in some water. I'm going to use a big brush for this because it's background. Let me just make sure that they don't roll all over by putting them in them lines. There. So is everybody okay today? What's everybody been up to whilst I'm trying to create a masterpiece? <laughs> right, so I'm just getting some clean, clear water here. And we'll just cover this piece of watercolour card with some water first of all. What's everybody been up to? Anything nice? So clean, clear water. Paul is going to do a live demonstration. We're going to zoom him in for you um, to do this. He's probably going to say he does it different to me. But the look that she can achieve from just playing with some card and some paper is incredible. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, let's say hello on our um, Stamps By Me page, Susan, Suzanne, Brenda, Heather, lovely to see you all. <laughs> right, so let's mix some of this black. I'll just mix it on my mat, look here. This is an oxide ink, that's all I have to hand. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spot some into this card here. Now, just keep picking up my butterfly. I'm going to have it on a bit of an angle. I'm just going to get a bit of an overlay of colour on here. Nothing. And as always, cards always look like a hot mess when we start. I'm just going to get an initial lay down and then I'm going to dry. You see already? I'm going to dry between each layer. So let's just dry that. Right in, trying to make Christmas cards. Joe loves butterflies. 
What's the doggy cuddles today for Jan? Trying to make dairy to go in Folo I made for my granddaughter. Adele's working on site, been listening in the background, having a sausage putty. Very nice. If you're wanting some inspiration in relation to some of the items that are back in stock, you need to go check out the Eureka fan page. There's some amazing makes from our design team and from Bella Crafters as well. So I am just going to take some more of the black and I am just going to intensify. In some of the areas so around his tail. And don't worry about lines and things like that. It'll sort itself out when we give it some more water. But I just want it to be intense in some of the areas around the butterfly. So, like so. I'm just going to soften the edge. Always see a card out to the end as well. If it don't quite look right to start with, you know, who cares? Stick with it, stick with it. So you can see it shape up butterfly there. Once it's glued down, we can add a little bit more detail with a gel pen and things like that. Lynn's been opening her birthday presents. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I hope you're having a great day. Susan Straw, oh my goodness, the butterfly is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you can imagine it in your pretty and pink tie, but I'm going for the Paul look, if we can call it that, the Paul look. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that as is for now. I'm just going to set that aside. I could really do with putting it under something flat to let it go flat. I'll just pop it under this. Let's put it under our Eureka. Pop it on there, look, to go flat. Now I'm going to bring in our butterfly, and that's the beauty of having those rubber caps for that very reason. Don't snap your fingers. So, butterfly. Now, I'm going to go all over with a brown. So, I'm going for that orange. Does anybody know the name of the butterfly where it's got a load of orange in it? Oh, Karen, when are the new colours coming for your inks, please? Soon, sweetheart. They probably will be before Christmas as well. So again, I'm adding water all over this butterfly. Now, this is normal cardstock, okay? Um, not watercolour cardstock, so I'm not going to heavily saturate it. But I'm going to get a little bit on there. So I'm going to pick up some of this brown here, and I'm just going to brush it all over. Looks oh, nice already, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, that looks cool already. So brown all over. So I'm just getting the first lay down. Dry it off. It's a red admiral, Tony. Thank you, Adele. A red admiral. A monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly, red admiral. You know what, butterflies, it's really... Does anybody know um, an interesting fact about a butterfly? They don't generally, everyday butterflies, live for more than four weeks. Did you know that? Mind you, that did come from my son. <laughs> Does anybody know the life expectancy of an everyday snail? Two to five years. Yeah, I have listened to it all. So I'm going to get a darker brown this time. Put it in the same place, actually. And I'm just going to mix a little bit. And I'm just going to go a little bit sparser with this one. So not as, as much on there. That's probably got loads in it, though. 
practically my brush is absolutely um it's not saturated is the point i'm trying to make i'm just i'm trying to get the feel of those brown tones in here first so there's not much water on my brush here i'm sort of dry brushing and it's picking up that detail see that here so and again i don't think there is any right or wrong way to um do this ladies and gents i really don't i think you know get your colors out just have total fun with them and this is how i think paul layers his you know when you get that dimension in his um flowers and things like that i think he builds the layers first and then at the last minute he goes in and adds the detail so what with this one what i'm going to do is you know the orange and black bits that we find in i'm going to add those in the intricate details but first of all i need to get sort of the initial color down and because my brush is pretty much dry it's picking up all of that embossing beautifully That. Looks like an old paper butterfly, doesn't it? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with a bit of black just to, and then we'll go in and add some detail. This is the first time we've done a large um, butterfly like this. Um, so I've got the black here from my oxide. I hope you can see that on my mat, yay. I'm just going to pick up some of this black now. And again, there's not much water in my brush. I'm just going to do exactly the same. So just dry. So it, it is called a dry brushy sort of technique. But you can see just by adding those layers, you get I've got the light, the light key color. Then I've got the sort of walnut it. And now I've got that black, which of black. Let's get his body a little bit blacker here. But there's not much water in my brush okay so i'm getting that lovely sort of dry brush so what do we all gorgeous god it's coming together isn't it i'm pleased with it so far i mean you know not quite to the scale of my lovely design team member but you know they have more time than me, and so do you at home. So get practicing, get a bunch of colours out, die cut a lot. Oh, it's really pretty, doesn't it? Right. Oh, what I was going to say is, um, are you all enjoying your glass mats and things? If you've noticed, I haven't been around much since we did our birthday launch. I had HSN in America, didn't I? Then I had the new and exclusive. And then we had our um, Stamping Together Festival. And since then, we've just sort of like um, been focused on our next year's events and what we're doing for TV and things like that. So I feel like I haven't seen you all in ages, but be reassured that, you know, we have got some great months coming up. We've got some fabulous products for you all. But I really did just want you all to enjoy. I know a lot of you have spent quite a bit of money on birthday. And I really wanted you to enjoy them enjoy it look at it i know a lot of you have sent me pictures saying it's on my desk it looks amazing it matches me blind or it matches me curtains or it matches my craft room just amazing so i hope you've all enjoyed uh, enjoyed them and enjoy the products i mean the mats and things like that because you know these things don't just get made overnight they take a long time i think it took me nearly a year for this glass mat right so let's get some detail on here more inks now the beauty about this is because obviously we've used a bit of paint there doesn't mean we need to continue with paint. I have my pencils here, you know, my Hemi oil pencils. So if I really do want to get in with the detail and enhance it even further, you can do it with your pencils. I'm going to do it with watercolour to start with. I might add a little bit more detail with pencils after because otherwise I'll be here all night. But have the confidence to, you know, play with all the mediums you have. So I have crackling campfire here so i'm just going to pop this on my mat. oh this is the orange this is definitely the orange i'll just pull that mat in there see that there that is the butterfly i was referring to this orange on here that's all i think i might need to go a bit darker on my butterfly though i'm gonna add a bit more black to really 
really get that beautiful. I'm just going an extra layer darker. But that's the cool thing about this. Go light and just keep adding until you're satisfied. You've got the colour that you want. I just feel like I need to just go that touch darker on here to get this orange to really work its magic. Now, you don't have to paint. I like to paint. It's where I started out. But you don't have to if you have your gilding waxes and things like that. Do all of the creative stuff that you would do with any other embossing folder. There we go. I'm, I'm happier. Now it's a little bit darker. Let me just get this detail in here a little bit darker. Right, let's get some of this orange on here. So I'm just going to swap out for a size six brush, size six. Well, let's get some of this orange in here now. I'm not precious about where it goes. I have no idea where it would go naturally on a butterfly, but I'm just going to add the colour into the back piece of this embossing folder here. Can you see that here? Um, and because it's that lovely um, depth to it, Make sure I get them to match that one. Not going in too much with the orange. Then I'm going to go back to my brown. I'm going to add some, because they've got a touch of brown in them, haven't they? I think they've got like a touch of like creamy, mustardy colour as well. But then that, I'm going to go with that for that. But this brown. Now, if you put it on and you don't like it, just add a tissue. Mix that brown into that orange. And then, I'm not doing it all though, guys. I'm going to, it will dry back lighter as well, just so be reassured with that sense. My brush is pretty dry now. And then what? Hopefully, I'll be able to pull it back. Pull this out. I have a white ink pad and I have my brushes. Oh, don't, but don't contaminate your ink pad with a green brush like that. That's just not a good move. Grab some paper. See now when you put that white on, just pulls all that detail. I will hold it up, you can't see the detail here. Then with my white gel pen, 
see these. Bring back those spots. But what I am going to do is. Pop it back in my embossing folder. Because now it's look, it's a little bit flit. It is like really like a butterfly now because it's wet ish. I'm going to pop it back in, line it up best I can, bring back some of that detail. Trying to line it up exact so I don't get a double print. And then let's bring in our mats. Can see it on it. I'll show you when I hold it. Hopefully, this doesn't double print. Stripping wallpaper in the living room whilst watching you. Oh, Brenda, that sounds exciting. Oh, did that move? I hope it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay, right back. Now, let me see if we can get that detail on there. We see that there? Hopefully. It's so dimensional, I can't tell you. You know what I think it's lacking though? I've done that white and then I've done that gel pen. But I think we should swipe it with a black ink pad. Where's that black ink pad? Shall we swipe it? What's the worst that could happen? Let's swipe it. Let's swipe it. Pick up all of them lines. Oh, look how good it looks on that. Oh, if you did that box technique I told, I showed you. Can you remember the box technique I showed you with the circles a long time ago? And this butterfly. Oof, that would look cool. Anyway, I digress. Right, are you ready for it to get ruined? <laughs> have we got a troll? Oh, I don't know. We'll have a look. I'm just taking the ink pad here, guys. Anybody else get scared when they sort of like do something like thinking, is it going to work or not? Is it random? <laughs> it's worked. Thank goodness. So basically, I've got my ink pad on like an angle. It's not completely flat. You know, as well, your Himmy oil pencils that I was telling you about, guys, these ones, you can absolutely go in and enhance that orange look. I'll just do this side, actually. I'm not gonna, I'll just do one side so you can see. This is what happens when you add pencil. Instant pop. Right, let's get this onto our card. Now, I am going to go flat. Let's get him glued down. I'm just dipping it off my glass mat here because my um, nozzle on my glue is a bit. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> fly away, butterfly. Missed that, sorry. It looks like it's been squashed on my page. <laughs> Poor thing. Let's just give that a chance to grab. Now, I brushed that over with an oxide, you know. But I think if you have a black ink pad, it would come up even blacker. Don't press too much now, it's on my card. So now that it's down, what we need to do now is go back in with our black around. So not too precious now because I have got the black lay down. And we'll get this black. I'm just going to go around a little bit more. Again, this is oxide. Probably would be better if um, I'm not going to go all the way around. So you can see I'll put a lay down a colour there. Then I got my brush. I cleaned it. It's just got water in now. And then I just go towards the ink and just pull it out so the ink's got somewhere to go so it doesn't look like a harsh line. Does that make any sense at all? I hope so. And then let's just do around his tail here. So get that black in there. Get a big colour of black in then clean your brush take out some of the water and then just take it up to the ink and let the ink just pull into whatever you've just put down so I wouldn't do it all the way around because it looks forced but if you do it in some of the areas and we'll do it up here a little bit And then clean your brush, take your brush, meet the ink, don't move the ink, just meet it and let the ink just do the talking. Like so, let's just... Now you're probably thinking, why I? dark it's grungy it's very dark for me and i have stepped out of my comfort zone here but it's still not finished you know because you can still continue to play on and on and on now i am just going to take my wet brush wet brush no color and i'm just going to add water all on the white space because i have a few um fingerprints messy marks and this is just going to like it now look like it's part of my artwork like it was meant to be when it actually it's not it's a fingerprint let the color bleed into the water there Like so, and then I'm just gonna come in with my gel pen. I'm just going over the lines that were already there. I'm just gonna bring his body back to life. And see these dots here? I might even go into those look. I think these were like gel pens are brilliant because they just sort of um they don't ever stay as white as you put them down so when you first put them down you're a little bit like oh a bit much for me is that and then down his body we'll do down one side Clean my gel pen off. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a um, as you can see, my card is a bit wet, it's not really liking it. 
I'm just going to go around the butterfly a little bit so it separates from the back. You see now how we've separated it from the back a little bit. So in the areas where I added that highlight, that sort of dark area, I'm just bringing it back. Not totally dry, so let's just blast this off. Could spend hours, couldn't you? You could absolutely spend hours. I'm just going back around that gel pen. Really getting that white in there. I want you to really see that white. Bring that butterfly to life. It looks like it's coming off the page. And then, faffing, faffing. Let's use a small brush and just add some white in here. And some gold. And we still have, what this will do is it'll pick out that orange from its wings. Dry that off. Card is never finished until it's mounted. But could you imagine doing two or three of these and raising the wings, maybe so they're not flat? Oh, Enid says it's looking amazing now. Well, you're a bit worried, Enid. like that you know because I've got it heat on there but you know. it'll flatten it out for me so let's get a black piece of card black and mirror board card would look amazing by the way let's see if I've got just one second ladies and gents oh I've got some nice card here got a nice piece of black let's cut this down sentiment as well really haven't we Brenda says listening to me while she's doing a wallpaper is making it bearable <laughs> I hope I'm not making you make any mistakes let's just grab my washi tapes out of the lovely cupboard ta-da shall we go black let's go black today we've got a blackie um, quite a dark image going on today. If you haven't got these, my gosh, why not? See us using them all the time. Look, that's see how I use my heat gun on that. It's not perfectly flat, but if you use your heat gun and then you put something heavy on top, um, did you just see that as well? I just guessed that piece of black card. I mean, come on, credit where credit is due. I'm just going to tape it for now, but it would need 
tape and glue okay because it's watercolor card it's got that um cockle in it should we say i'll try and get it as flat as i can for the photograph at least get lots on there i have to say that is awesome i didn't think it would turn out as good as it did oh emma loves it didn't think it'd turn out as good as it did, but you know, I do like to see my cards out to the end. But if you have got confidence just to run the embossing folder through and paint them separately, then of course you can do that. You can cut the having to stick the butterfly down, but I'm not so sure I'll be able to get that black hue around. I will probably try that next time. Question, question. Will the subscription be for the magazine? It's not a subscription, sweetheart. It's just you buy it if you want it or if you like it. It's um, a box kit and it comes with all the things that you'll need to make what's inside the magazine. And my gosh, the stuff that is in the magazine is incredible. So you'll be one happy um, crafter and it's so affordable, which makes me happy. And then here, look, we've got Hello Friend. Does that look okay there, do we think? It's body? Yeah. What I am going to do though is I'm just going to push it back a little bit, just a little bit with a bit of black paint that's on my mat. It's a bit harsh. And a bit of glue off my mat. I'll just stick this flat in its body. Sequins, it needs sequins. I'm not going to do it but it needs sequins. Just hold that down there. And I would totally be absolutely faffing right now with this gel pen. Keep going around now it's dry, enhancing all of those areas. Definitely needs sparkles. It needs sequins. It needs the works. But I'm happy with that. What do we think? What do we think? Yes, Tony. Very pretty. Wow. Come on. You know me better than that. There we go. Quite good. I might say so myself. Not bad. Look at that. That is good <laughs> i'm not afraid to say it <laughs> be proud of your work come on well it took me an hour but anyway there we go do you like that have a play and google butterflies because the colors in butterflies oh my gosh if you can replicate some of the beautiful butterflies that are out there you can have a whole plethora and do you know what you could do die cut the shape emboss the shape and put them in packs as toppers or friends as gifts or share them with a friend or if you sell them, it's totally up to you. Our license allows you to do that. So yep, yeah, just enjoy the fun with them. That's what it's about. Enjoy the process and whatever you're doing this afternoon, stroke evening, have a great one. I am in store this weekend if anybody's popping by for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Although we are in total chaos, we are having another stock take, but we are in store. But please don't forget Emery's live today at three o'clock with a brand new launch. And then we have Create Together Club on Monday. Super, super exciting. So whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cosy as always. And I'll see you all soon. Can't wait. Take care, everyone. Bye.